This Transformers 96 here, another Green Lantern video review with some Green Lantern, uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch steel. Um, so here you go. So, uh, by the time that I post this, the movie has come out today, if you're watching this on Friday when I posted this. And, um, so yes, um, I'm actually filming this on Thursday, so I haven't seen it yet, but, uh, um, but by the time that I post this, I probably have seen it, so very cool. Um, so this is steel, 3 and 3 quarter inch figure, and, um, here you go. So here's the box. Very cool, it says the oath around the little circle, which is nice. A little uh, Hal Jordan there, cool. Um, in the back here we've got Steel, the uh, the dog, um, Abin Sir, and uh, Solar, um, Solar, Solar Saw, Hal Jordan, sorry, I have trouble saying that. Here is a picture of um, Steel, as you can see. Just a bit different, um, so yes, yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, and I could very much uh, well be mistaken, this is the concept mold for um, a steel. This is what they thought that they might make the, the movie. Um, this is what they thought that they'd uh, design the character um, like this, but apparently, if I'm not mistaken, they changed it and decided to make him look like this. Either that or he changes forms. I think I think my first theory is right. I think I heard that somewhere. I can't remember where I heard it though. But um I think that that's the case. I'm not 100% sure though. So don't think that that's definitely the case. So anyway, so here's Steel. So a lot of people don't collect the 3 and 3 quarter inch line because of their lack of articulation. Um, I do. I've kind of gotten away from it because of Transformers and everything. I really, I'm just focusing on Movie Masters for this line and I'm um, not too much 3 and 3 quarter inch because I'm the rock guy from the second wave. I still haven't gotten and I did want to get that guy so I'm just going to wait until maybe he goes on sale because I'm not too into th the 3 and 3 quarter inch lines. Um, it's a very odd line because I started collecting it and I was very happy with the line. You know, it was okay. Um, but, you know, I like the line. And then I just kind of faded away from the line so if the toys really made me fade away from the thin the quarter inch line, they're not that good. Um, so yes, articulation. He's got uh, some swivel shoulders and some swivel hips. Four points of articulation, all a swivel. That that's just it. Um, so some pretty horrible articulation on this guy. I will say this is like the best pose that you'll ever get him into. Uh, not even a head. I mean the head's a little bit odd shaped, so I understand that. But not even a waist. Not even knees. Not even ankles. Not even elbows. Not even wrist. Nothing. So yes. So bad articulation. This guy and the the whole toy line has really bad articulation. And this guy has one of the worst articulations for a toy. I'm looking back at. My, all my 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, this is the only one with a worse articulation, but this comes with parallax, it's not a single carded figure, so out of all this, my single carded figures, this guy has the worst articulation um, by far, so yes, so that's horrible, he is quite tall, I will give him that, uh, he's got the ring on which looks really nice, his claws, they didn't even, like, split them. They've kept the plastic in between the claws, which look horrible. It's just like, how cheap can you make this? I, I don't know if they're running a contest to see who can design the cheapest Green Lantern 3 and quarter inch toy. I don't know. Um, it's got some good detail in the middle. Nothing too amazing, you know, and uh, just a couple little, you know, little gizmos inside there. Nothing too much, just the back is a solid piece. Not even a whole lot of detail. I mean, it, this middle section has a bit detail, but it's not like packed with detail, it's not that much. Um, he's, he's all this grayish silver, mostly gray, it's like a dark gray, kind of silverish, with um, some green highlights and a one white highlight for the Green Lantern thing. Um, so... Articulation and uh, paint and detail aren't even that good. Articulation's horrible. Paint? There's not much paint on him. Detail? There's not much detail on him. He's got a little bit of detail. Um, his legs are shaped really oddly. You can get him to stand though, so that's kind of nice. It's a neat thing when they do those odd feet that can stand. So that's kind of cool. He's got that going for him, but everything else is not very good. He's got this kind of cool cloth and it looks kind of nice. You can put it on his hand. And he holds it fairly well, but uh, with this articulation, I mean, this is all he can do, pretty much, you know, just this. So, not too great, um, really, and he also comes with the rain, the rain's very cool. But um, this articulation and uh, detail, paint, accessories, all just he lacks, and he's probably one of the worst 20 quarter inch figures for the, how, um, for the Green Lantern toy line that I have. Um, so, yeah. 
a big disappointment. So, yes, you know, the movie comes out today, so you'd expect me to do a nice, happy review of the Green Lantern toy, but not this time. Um, really not happy with the sitting to quarter inch line. It's fading me away. Um, he is quite tall, though, so let's compare him to some figures. Here we go. These are my three, uh, uh, three figures that I, that are all different scales. So as you can see, this guy, he's about three and three quarter inch. He's the basic figure. This guy is about four inches. This guy's about five inches. Oops. Sorry about that. So, here's just some of them. So yes, so he is just below Kilowog. So he's just under five inches tall. So um, he's a fairly tall figure, but he's not like Kilowog. Ta Kilowog's tall and he's buff. This guy is quite skinny. So you don't even get your plastic worth. So this guy, I paid $9 for. That's a horrible price. Um, I noticed that uh, Walmart has them for seven. And um, I'm not going to recommend this guy. You can definitely pass him, especially since I don't even think this mold is going to be in the movie. I think it's going to be the one on the back. So, do not recommend this guy. Um, definitely don't pick this guy up. Go for the Movie Masters line. If the Movie Masters is too expensive for you, and you really want to stick with the three and three quarter inch line, um, then, you know, definitely pick up some of the others from the wave, like the Rock guy. I do not have him, but he looks like a nice sculpt. Um, also, I have this guy. This guy's much better, and he's from the same wave. So, yeah, definitely pick up some of the others first. That's for sure. So, there you go. So, um, that's my review review of Green Lantern uh, or uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch um, steel review. Thanks for watching.